I'm Pat Lanchoni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. Today I'm thinking about a concept that's really hit me lately, and that's what I call teachers need to be taught. And so often we learn something from someone about faith or anything else, but especially I think about it in the world of faith, and we think, well, they've got it all figured out, and they don't need to hear from me, and they, why, why am I not like them? But I, I can say that even the greatest ministers, priests, theologians, and even the person who might be teaching you about Jesus needs to be reminded, and they might need you to remind them. And this was driven home for me because I actually listen to the Three Minute Reset every day, and I am shocked by how much I need it, how much I didn't really realize what we're communicating, or I, I've forgotten it. And for those of us who think, well, everybody else is ahead of me in that process, it's often a person who comes to faith in a new way, and they're young in their faith that teaches me what they're experiencing. And I think, oh my gosh, your faith is deeper than mine right now, or, or I didn't even remember that or see that. So mm -hmm. teachers are just teachers in the moment, but don't put them on a pedestal. They need you, and they need to be taught just like everyone else. And it's the humility of great leaders that recognize that fact that makes them great. I mean, Pat, you work with the, the, some of the biggest Fortune 500 companies. And here's people who, who haven't said, well, I've arrived, I'm done. They're coming for deeper ongoing formation to the stuff you offer. I mean, that's what makes true greatness. It's, it's not just having it all together. It's that attitude that I'm going to keep growing. I mean, if something's not growing, it's dying. Think of a plant that's not growing anymore. It's that ongoing conversion. And this is our, our whole life with the Lord. And it extends to every part of our lives. We're always growing, always converting. It, but you got to be humble enough to do that and to experience the joy of that. Right. And if you're a teacher or a leader or somebody who, who tells people, exhorts people what to do, if you don't realize as a leader you need to be led sometimes or a teacher you need to be taught, you will feel immense guilt and shame when you realize that you're not actually practicing what you're preaching. Now, we're, we need to practice what we preach, but we need to be reminded and when somebody comes up and says, gee, you're doing a, this stuff as a leader, but you're actually failing in this one area, mm -hmm. we can either feel guilt, shame, and defensiveness, or we can go, oh, thank you for being my teacher today. Thank you for being my leader today. And we can learn from people who are really young in, in a pursuit because they're in a different place. So I say that because as I listen to these podcasts, I think, man, I really don't want people to think I've got this all figured out oh, and no, I no. too don't need to be reminded. To, to understand is to stand under. I'm preaching to myself as I preach to everybody else on this podcast. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, uh, thank you for ever leading us, calling us to deeper and deeper growth. Give us the humility and the hearts of children to continue to follow you, to be taught by you and by life and by the good people you place on our path. In your holy name, amen.